Hi, my name is Harlan. Welcome to the H. Machacon Mechanical Engineering Channel. After laying out the sprinklers in a building, the next step that is required for the engineer to do is to perform hydraulic calculations for the sprinkler flow and pressure. But before we do that, we need, in order to calculate the flow and the pressure, we need to plot the design area. But before we proceed to our topic for today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel. Our topic for today is plotting the design area in a sprinkler system. A manufacturing plant in Ontario is going to construct a building expansion adjacent to the west side of its existing process building. The floor area is 3,087 square feet. The occupancy hazard classification according to NFPA 13 is Ordinary Hazard Group 2. The fire sprinklers have already been laid out in the previous video tutorial layout of fire sprinkler systems. Plot the design area. So we will pull out the layout that we have prepared for the fire sprinkler system in the example in the previous video tutorial. So we have this one here, uh, which uh, we have two rectangles, the 20 feet 6 inches and the 61 feet 4 inches. And we also have this 27 feet 2 inches by 67 feet 4 inches, the lower rectangle here. And you notice the spacing of the sprinklers is 12 feet and 10 feet 6 inches here and 11 feet here and 9 feet vertical okay so the design area what is the design area it is a specified area where in all the sprinklers within are expected to actuate or provide water at the required density in gallons per minute per square foot when fire occurs the size of the design area is related to the occupancy as shown in the area density curves of NFPA 13. Why? Because when fire occurs, it's not the whole building that suddenly gets sets on fire. It's just a small portion of the building. So we assume a remote area, uh, the most remote area, wherein all the sprinklers in that remote area provide the water at the required GPM per square feet. So from the design uh, area density curve in FPA 13, we have here ordinary hazard group 2. We have this line. Okay, uh, Any point along this line is okay. So you can either choose uh, 1,500 square feet uh, design area at 0.2 gallons per, per minute per square foot density or maybe you can use 3,000 square feet at uh, 0.17 gallons per minute per square foot. Or you can also use 3,900 square feet at 0.15 uh, gallons per minute per square foot. So uh, I prefer to use this uh, 0.2 GPM per square feet at 1,500 uh, square feet of design area. So empirical evidence shows that a rectangular remote area whose length is parallel to the branch line is much more hydraulically demanding than a perfectly square remote area. Determine the minimum length of the design area using the equation L sub minimum is equal to 1.2 square root of A. So we have chosen 1,500 square feet and a density of 0.2 gallons per minute per square feet. So from the equation, 1.2 square root of 1,500, we have the minimum length of the design area, 46.48 feet. And determine the minimum number of sprinklers along the length of the design area. So the minimum number of sprinklers N sub S will be equal to L sub minimum 
divided by the sprinkler spacing. So 46.48 feet divided by 12 feet, so 3.87 sprinklers, say four sprinklers. So you have here in your um, in your plotted area, you have uh, four sprinklers in your length. Okay. Uh, so we have six feet eight inches, twelve feet twelve feet twelve feet six. Six feet here, up to here. So determine the actual length of the design area that would include four sprinklers. So six feet eight inches, twelve feet times three, one, two, three, and six feet here. The total is forty eight eight forty eight feet eight inches. Calculate the width of the design area as follows. Width is equal to A divided by L sub actual. So we'll have 1,500 square foot divided by 48 feet and 8 inches. So uh, the result will be 30.82 feet. The width covers three rows of sprinklers. This one here. So row 1, row 2, and row 3. So let's calculate the actual area and see if that it doesn't fall short of the 1,500 square foot requirement. So 48 feet 8 inches times 20 feet 6 inches plus 4 feet 7 inches well, plus uh, 4 feet and 6 inches here. Okay. This area here. So 6 feet 8 inches 12, 12, 12, 6 times this distance here. 10 feet 6 inches and uh, 9 feet 7 inches plus uh, 4 feet 6 inches plus the distance here uh, will be 1,439.73 uh, square feet. So this still falls short of the 1,500 square feet. Hence we will add one sprinkler closest to the cross main and then recalculate the area. So the cross main is this one here. These are the branch lines so we add one sprinkler closest to the cross main. This one here. Then we recalculate the area. So the design area will be 1,439 square feet plus uh, 4 feet 7 inches Quantity 4 feet 7 inches, 4 feet 6 inches, multiplied by quantity 1 foot 5 inches, plus 5 feet 6 inches here. Okay, this one, uh, this distance here, plus this, this times this will be added to uh, the area. So the result will be 1,502.6 square feet with how many sprinklers flowing? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, with 13 sprinklers flowing. So, this one here. The sprinklers in the design area may also be configured in this manner. Well, we'll consider the rectangle 20 feet 6 inches by 61 feet 4 inches, the area here is much less than the 1,500 square feet requirement. So we will consider that whole rectangle as a portion of the design area. And uh, the balance we will just add from, the, from this rectangle here, 27 feet 2 inches by 67 feet 4 inches. We take three splinters from th there and we add it to the, this area. So, uh, the result of this upper rectangle is 1,257.26 square feet, which is less than 1,500 square feet. So, uh, this falls short by mo more than 240 square feet. Thus, we will add three splinters from the 27 feet 2 inches by 67 feet 4 inches rectangle. The area of coverage for sprinklers in this rectangle 
is 11 by 9, which is 99 uh, square feet. Okay? So, therefore, three more sprinklers will be adequate. So, we will add the three sprinklers here. And then we will recalculate the area. The actual area coverage for the three additional sprinklers will be 5 feet 6 inches plus 2 times 11 feet, which is the spacing, and uh, 6 feet 1 inch times 4, multiply 4 feet 7 inch plus 4 feet 6 inches, and the additional area covered by the three additional sprinklers could be 305.05 square feet. So 1,257.26 plus 305.05 square feet is equal to 1,562.31 square feet. Here. And how many sprinklers are there flowing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, with 13 sprinklers flowing. Okay, I, the next step that we are going to do in the next video tutorial is to do the hydraulic calculations. So, I would like to invite you and your friends to subscribe to H. Magical Mechanical Engineering channel. Thank you.